हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू इजी टू एक्सप्लोर टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू नो हाउ टू एड फॉरन की कंस्टेंट यूजिंग माइक्रोसॉफ्ट सीक्वल सर्वर 2017 फॉर दैट वी विल मूव टू माइक्रोसॉफ्ट सीक्वल सर्वर मैनेजमेंट स्टूडियो कनेक्ट टू आर डेटाबेस इंजन and then go to the database option and then table option and you will find that there are two table one is stu underscore fees and one is stu underscore primary so we are make going to make a primary table this is a primary table and you will right click on it and go to the design option and you will find there is a column name id with data type integer and column name name with data type var as we want to make this table primary and this column as a primary column which will be reference to any other table so we are going to mark this column as a primary key so as you have seen we have already marked this column as a primary key just close this design and now move to the stu underscore fees and right click on it and move to the design option here you will find a column name fid with data type integer and column name fees with data type integer so here this is a value part and this column fid is going to linked up as a foreign key to the table stu underscore primary in the column id so just close this design view and go to the new query option and type the constraint order table table name so we are going to add constraint on stu underscore fees so we are going to name it name the table stu underscore fees and then add constraint and constraint name so it must be meaningful so we are using the initial so the table name and then fk as a foreign key and then use the keyword foreign key space and within bracket type the column you want to make foreign key so we want to make fid right click give a space and then type references this refer to this means to that you are going to reference to which table so we are using the keyword references and then the table name from which this fid column will be linked up so that's the table is stu underscore primary within bracket the column id and then click on execute so here you can see that this command completed successfully now go to the object explorer and expand stu underscore fees and go to the keys option you will find the foreign key constraint if you want to check that whether the foreign key constraint is applied or not you will click right click on it stu underscore primary and you will click on edit option and you will see there the value already with 123 name with abhi i will add one more value with 124 and name is wiki and just press tab and the data will be saved and just close this option and now we will go to the stu underscore fees option and click on edit now as you can see that we have already added the f123 row in the stu underscore primary that's why this fid is consisting of 123 but if i want to type 126 which is the value we haven't added already in the table stu underscore primary and click on tab key and just again click on tab key you will find that their data was not committed as there was a foreign key constraint violation and you will find the foreign key name which you have or created so this data is not going to commit because this data is not available in stu underscore primary now just type the data you have already 
available in STO and disco primary so we are going to type 124 with value with null value and just press tab and you will see that the data is committed because this value is already present in the stu underscore primary one twenty four name vicky and there is a one twenty four with peace if you like this video please click the like button also please subscribe our channel easy to explore in if you have any query related to a sql server 2017 or microsoft sql server any version or sql please post it in comment section thank you